Hi everyone, my name is Charlotte Evans. I am a degree specialist here at Coursera and today I'm so excited to talk to you about how we've leveraged Retool across our services org. We're going to zip right through with our goals within Retool, a quick demo, how we've shifted our workflows into Retool and use some of the features to help us along the way, along with some future steps. For those of you who might be a bit more new to Coursera, our mission is to provide universal access to world-class learning through online education. We have a variety of learning products uh, that our services team supports. And today I'll be focusing primarily on the right side of the screen in the degrees world, uh, which is where I work. The focus of my team within degree services is to really focus on driving student success and fostering strong partnerships with universities. In our previous state prior to Retool, we had significant growing pains as we had more degree partners coming on board and more students, along with product complexity with the different learning products we're supporting um, and some of the associated risk. And finally, in order to support that, it was a lot of manual effort. We were spending a good amount of time creating spreadsheets and maintaining those spreadsheets. Now we've moved to live API powered read and write dashboards on Retool and I'm so excited. <laughs> So a quick demo of how we, what we got there. Uh, this left side of the screen might be familiar to, to many of you with dumping lots of information into Google Sheets, getting lots of tags saying, hey, is this updated? Can you add a new row? And then going into a lot of our APIs in order to clean that new information and edit it. We've been able to take 100% of those APIs for critical degree services workflows and move them over into Retool tools so that the tables will automatically refresh within Retool rather than spending a lot of our time to do this kind of work, which allows us to free up a, a good amount of our brain space in order to really focus on driving student success and, and creating happy partners. What does this look like in the weeds? We realized as we were starting to go through and build our tools, we had these primary keys that we kept using over and over again, in particular, a degree name and a student name. We were able to go through and identify about eight different spreadsheets with some examples like degree name to degree ID, degree name to support alias, and again and again and again, where if we had a holistic application that allowed us to filter by degree name, we could have this kind of waterfall of information that appears. The same kind of thing we were starting to notice around how we were tracking student data. So what we ended up doing was, this is one of the tools I'll show you an example of how it looked on the ground. Through a new degree home, we've been able to build out a lot of tools already, um, including this degree data management tool. Say we focus on this hypothetical student, it's actually me, go gophers. Um, <laughs> You can see the student's record, association, their enrollment indicators, and actions. And we can also see some degree level data about the UX Design Master Track. Um, if we were to go over to another use case within the IMBA program, we can look at onboarding information. And you'll notice the names are human readable with terms that are human readable and times that are no longer an epoch time. So when we moved into Retool, I was really excited about what it would unlock, but I also had no idea I was writing JavaScript. Um, I came from a non-technical, non-developer background, so this was a pretty new domain for me. So as I thought about my own onboarding into the experience, I really wanted to capitalize on all of the features that Retool was offering to make my life easier so I could focus on just bringing in the Coursera-specific information. So the first thing we really focused on was automation. Uh, so the power of the button. After we'd found that primary key with the degree name and started to build out some of our applications, we realized, hey, I'm going back into spreadsheets and doing the same thing over and over again. And the only thing that's different about some of these spreadsheets is the degree name um, in terms of the row of the data. So I was able to take two buttons, build them in three minutes and delete two spreadsheets. <laughs> It was very therapeutic. The second thing that we focused on was reusability. So rather than continually plugging in the same APIs to create that degree name dropdown, we realized we could use modules to do some of that heavy lifting for us. So as we're building more applications now that focus on this primary key of degree name, we can just drag and drop that module and then add the specifics of a tool and, and allows us to churn those out a lot faster. And finally, organization has been really useful. My first tool was 
slightly overly ambitious with 107 calls in it. And the first list was just a dump of all of those queries. And by building out these folders, we were able to really start to visualize the relationships between some of the calls and start to think about strategy, which has also helped me think about kind of modularizing different aspects of our, of our future tooling. Where do we go from here? We're really excited to propagate a lot of this beyond to our whole services organization to find similar kind of primary keys at the account level and start to find these mappings so we can build future tools. As we think about optimizing, we're really going to encourage our team across services to think, instead of making a new spreadsheet, could I build a retool tool? Third, Aside from the, the pure joy of being able to delete old documentation when a new tool is there, I think launching strong documentation that shows the new workflows is really critical for making these new launches compelling and, and successful. And serving as evangelists across the company to really think about how we can steer adoption and show the value of Retool to our, our broader teams. And finally, again, kind of going back to our core, you know, our team is really focused on unlocking the, the student experience and, and getting the manual work out of the way so that we can really focus on that. Hoping we can reach for retool and more tools that we're looking towards so that we can really optimize and create a best in class uh, service experience. I'm so excited to connect with this community and I'd like to give a big shout out to everyone at retool who's helped me along the way and to our internal tools team at Coursera who have been such fantastic mentors and helped me learn the ropes. Thank you so much.